Here we have a MacBook Air that came in for three beeps. Customer said the laptop is not powering on and it's making three beeps. Three beeps is RAM. That's a RAM issue. RAM on this motherboard is integrated. We cannot swap or change RAM on this board. And right now the problem could be one of the three things. It could be a bad RAM chip, it could be a cracked solder ball under the RAM chip, or it could be something else causing the RAM chip not to function properly. Let me quickly remove the board. It's only connected to a few cables here. Big Boss already did the work, but I connected the speaker so you can hear what's going on. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect the RAM area and we have 16, is it 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 16 RAM chips here. I'm gonna take a quick look at the RAM chips and see if we see anything obvious. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna reflow every one of those chips, or maybe we can start with the first two and plug the power cable in and see if it works. If not, then we can proceed to the second two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on and so forth. It's a tedious process, but maybe we get lucky after reflowing the first chip. Who knows? Maybe I can quickly measure in diode mode. I do not know what I'm measuring, but there must be a pattern. We have the same components here, same components here, same components here, same components here. So they should all measure the same. Let's pick, for example, the resistor. Let's say I measure the resistor in diode mode, and it's reading 0 0.4. And I measure the other one, and it's reading 0, then we know we have a problem because all of them should be reading the same. So we have 0 0.23, 0 0.23, 0 0.23, ground on top, ground on top, likely a pull-up resistor, 0 0.23, 0 0.23, 23, and this one here, the layout looks different, so we may get a different reading, 0 0.34, yeah, it's a different reading. 0 0.23, the same, the same. And the same. This here is 0 0.34 because the layout here is different. So we cannot expect this one to read the same as this. All right. Right now, we're going to start by reflowing. Maybe we can start from here, from the ones that are reading 0 0.35. I'm going to apply some flux, and we're going to reflow the last two chips. Maybe we can reflow two chips at a time. And we have to go through all 16 chips. Hot air station at maximum, 500 degrees Celsius. And air speed just a bit down, so we do not push all the flux away. And of course, fume extractor. Very important. Why don't we remove this? Because surely it's gonna burn. and put it on the side. All right, so one of them is already moving. Just a tiny push. And the bottom one. We did two of them. And you know what? Let's do four. 
I do not want to keep going back and forth. Test and come back, test and come back, test and come back. Since the board is already hot, let's do four at a time or even six at a time or even 16 at a time. or even 100 at a time. If you feel like you have the adrenaline, you can do 100 at a time. Just a tiny friendly tap. We do not need to tap it to the moon, just a tiny friendly tap. You know like how some people when they shake hands they like to squeeze and break your knuckles? I used to be one of those until I hurt an elder because I was so used to shaken very firm and I stopped doing it So we did six and just to make things even let's do eight we'll try it and then we'll do the other eight so we'll just do it even Steven eight and eight I initially wanted to do it two chips at a time but we're going to waste a lot of time going back and forth. Just a friendly tap. Let's go ahead and try it now. We refloat eight chips. And I'm gonna connect the power cable. We're gonna connect the speaker. And that's all we need to do. Right, and I just wanna connect the speaker will take a minute or a second all right so just the power cable the flex that connects this board to this board and the speaker that's all I connected and that's all we need to know if we're gonna get the three beeps or not power cable it turned on <laughs> the beep is gone <laughs> it turned on I do not have a hard drive connected, but we did hear the chime, and the problem is fixed. The problem is fixed. Maybe it would have worked from the first two chips that we refloat. Maybe. But I just did eight at a time. We heard the chime, and the laptop is working. We're going to have to reconnect everything and do one final testing. Just quick cleanup. I did not add a lot of flux. And some people up to this day, they ask me why I use this microscope and not the stereo microscope. That's why, because I sit comfortable. I do not have to shove my eyes in the eyepieces. And that's my comfort zone.
just look at the screen, look around, and have a sip of tea. And the tea is on the preheater that was sent to us by a customer. And the cup is always hot. The best gift I ever got. One other customer also mailed a cup preheater because I mentioned in one of the videos that I always tend to drink my tea cold because I forget about it. And two people mailed over preheaters. I want to thank both of them. All right, just one final touch with the brush, alcohol and dry wipe. Make sure everything is nice and clean. Beautiful. I'm going to give this to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. Okay, Big Boss just finished reassembling the MacBook. And, ta-da, laptop is working. And that's it. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.